in this um, following step I'm going to show you how I'm going to scrutinize the off-road section that this friend of mine gave me I'm not going to go through the full route but I like to sort of tinker and just know what I'm in for um, the first thing is to just on the navigation side I want to sort of follow the route and, and just see in a little bit more detail what it entails and to do that I'm going to basically look at um, this little path that the road takes um, there's a lot of detail in there. I'm just going to hide those and I'm going to select my line <coughs> and I'm going to drag it onto the the single track or not single track but the Jeep the very detailed off-road route that I'm going to take here um, I'm going to identify wherever there's a little intersection you'll see that there seems to be a, a little um, area where I'm going to turn right I want to make sure I've got that uh, I'm going to go there you'll see this is a very interesting one this line that I was given shows a big zigzag in the road which I'm going to do but if you look at the details the route actually turns to the right and then it makes the intersection so I actually need to show this intersection otherwise I'm going to keep on driving straight and then at this top section I'm going to realize I'm off route I'm going to have to turn back again so if it, if it gets to such a technical level it's better to show a little bit more detail and you'll see I show the zigzag there um, and then it comes up here and I'm just basically going to take this line halving method to, to, to sort of do that now what I want to show you is here at the bottom where, we, where we're crossing the, the Kuha Rafi River um, I'm not sure what the conditions are down here so I can zoom in, in in this mapping sort of view but I can also go into satellite view change that into the satellite side and then have a clearer view of what this crossing is okay it looks like a normal farm road that just crosses the river there's probably a little cement bridge there um, that it crosses so no, no, nothing major and I can also go to my terrain view and just sort of have an idea from looking at the contours um, okay this seems to be quite a big downhill going into the river you'll see the contours there I cross the river and then you climb out of the river and you're on top and the rest of it you seem to sort of follow the the route itself so without going into too much detail I'm gonna go over onto Google Earth and show you how I can follow this route um, <coughs> on this now the one thing with with going onto Google Google uh, uh, the satellite view is that it tends to be quite dark the background is quite dark so just a little tip to a trick of the trade is I'll, I'll quickly show you if I if I'm on the satellite view the top view everything is quite dark so if the line is unselected you'll see it's quite difficult to see the blue um, on the background there um, I also want to just remember when we're on Google Earth I want to show you this little kink here to make sure that we know where to turn but what I want to want to show you is that if I choose blue for the color of the line of my track it's difficult to design I can change colors but if I know I'm going to use Google um, uh, Google Earth or the satellite view I will rather just choose a light color like yellow um, because it will highlight it in that view a little bit better you actually have the opposite then if you go back to your nav view it's then difficult again to see um, to see the yellow on that but for now for the, the purpose of this exercise I'm going to go to satellite view but I want to check this in 3D um, in 3D in um, Google Earth. Now, what not a lot of people know of is that you can use Google Earth in Google Maps, and that means that I'm going to go out of Google My Maps and I'm going to go to the normal Google Maps, and I want to show you how I can view this um, this route on. Come on, zoom out. There we go. We're going to look at this view there, the yellow one on Google um, on Google Earth so let's to, to get there I'm gonna open up Google Maps not my maps just normal Google Maps there we go and if you remember it was one of the f the first um, portions is you basically go to my places your places on 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 maps if you go to maps you will see the maps that you've drawn there's the one I've just done 
and I can select that so I can basically view my map in Google Maps um, which is what you want to do if you want to view it now you'll see that last leg is not showing it's purely because I've disabled it so I can turn portions you'll see so if you if you overlay a, a, one of your maps like a my map on Google Maps you can't do a lot of detailed editing but you can say open in my maps to edit it again um, but that's not what I want to show you guys so I know this yellow section is all the way down here <coughs> and I'm gonna hide this so to have a little bit more screen space and what's really good is not a lot of people know that if you look at your your tools on the right hand bottom of Google Maps you actually have a glow it is in my 3d view I can then turn on satellite and guess what I am in 3d view and I can now see my route that I'm trying to identify and you'll see I'm in I'm using Google Earth whilst I'm in Google Maps and because I've actually made my map visible I can actually then look at my map in three dimensions okay, it takes a little while to update there we go so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna follow my route so I'm gonna um, this section where we turn off sometimes just to update you have to just zoom out and in again we're gonna drive here we're gonna take this little intersection go off-road we're gonna no sorry we're gonna take that little this little piece there there go off-road and using my mouse and my keyboard buttons in combination I can now follow my route in three dimensions which is really really a powerful feature to do um, if my route sort of disappears it's because you're not aligning or I can just pick it up and not sort of view it at too, 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 too big of an angle so I'm going to turn there if you remember that little cross I want to go to that little um, river that we're going to cross so there's my route uh, here we're coming up to the river where I said that we're going to go into that valley so there's the valley the farm road um, and we're going to go into that then we're going to cross this Kucha river there and I can actually have a look at it this is what I'm going to ride I uh, want to see my line again just zoom out and up there we go okay so this is basically how you can view I actually think this is probably a beautiful lookout point if I look at this section if I turn it around oh wow I think I think you you probably look out from this height over this whole valley which is going to be quite spectacular okay so this is this is um, basically a little trick of the trade to to follow your route um, uh, come on go straight up is to to follow your route I'll just turn 3d off I can actually turn global off and just just go back to maps okay there we go my, my internet seems to be a little bit slow this is yellow I can obviously click on it it shows day 4 but I can't edit it but I can open it in my maps or it's already there I can just turn the color back again into something more sort of amenable um, and there we go and because Google what's great is because Google saves it real time um, I'm just going to turn my base map back there because it saves it real time it basically if I refresh on this side um, my map will be updated there we go <coughs> So this, is, this was a, a demonstration of how to create a multi-day route using Google My Maps um, as your tool of trade. I would definitely recommend getting, getting to grips with, with Google My Maps. It actually, for no cost at all, it gives you access to all the benefits of Google, which includes Google Earth, Google Maps, and Google My Maps. Um, and it's a fantastic tool to do your designs with. And it's super easy to export so i'll quickly show you in the next step how you can share and export your um your roots